Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, this is my YouTube channel, Sheryl Thinks, where I talk about all things health anxiety related. Um, whilst I've got five minutes while my little ones are sleeping back there, I thought I would do a video on something that who's waking up them on something that I feel is probably um, quite common is having an abnormal ECG. So lots of us with health anxiety have taken ourselves to Wayne at some point, probably had an ECG because maybe we're panicking about our heart or maybe our heart rate's super high. Now I have had a couple of abnormal things come back on multiple ECGs. So one of them being inverted T waves, which is quite common. Um, and it flagged up for me, I think it was about three years ago. Um, in fact, most of my ECGs say abnormal. Um, I've had, what else have I had? My QT appeared to be prolonged in one of my ECGs, which um, eventually it was determined that it was the machine over calculating because my heart rate was, was so high. I have had, um, my most recent was like non-specific T wave abnormality. Now, when that happens and we get an abnormal ECG, it's terrifying because we don't know what's causing it. Of course, our health anxiety brain goes to the worst case scenario. The problem being with like an ECG is that like loads of things can affect it, like a slight movement can cause like a ton of artifact on the ECG. Um, hyperventilation can cause issues, like just panic and anxiety can, can throw can throw things off so it's not uncommon for anxiety to affect an ECG. I after the first time I had the abnormality I then went on to see like a private electrophysiologist so that's somebody who specifically deals with the electrical part of the heart. I had a halter monitor, I had multiple ECGs, um, had everything checked and everything turned out to be normal, but it was very scary for me to be told that there was something abnormal. My ECG was abnormal. This was like a couple of years ago. Um, and for somebody who has like cardiophobia, like that is like, gosh, couldn't, it's just the worst thing that could ever happen. So I've done a bit of research into this, not too much. This was a couple of years ago that I researched it, but I was shocked to see and read that anxiety can really quite, you know, dramatically sometimes affect an ECG to the point where people have been diagnosed with things that they don't have, you know, and doctors have run out to this person thinking that there there's something seriously wrong and, and there isn't, they're just panicking. So I just wanted to come on here today and say I have had probably three or four ECGs in my life that have been abnormal and none of those things turned into anything. I was subsequently checked and it was all okay. Um, so I thought I would put this out there to be like, hey, this has happened to me just in case there's any of you out there that have had this worry or still worry about it or this has recently happened to you and you just want somebody else to be like, hey, I've had this and it didn't it didn't turn out to be anything. Um, so yeah, I just thought I would share my experience with that. If you wanna share your own story and you wanna tell me about a time where you've had an abnormal ECG, please pop it below in the comments. The comments section are often where people go to to see if there are other people dealing with this. So if you've ever had an abnormal ECG or something scary's popped up, whether it's T-wave inversion or whatever, let me know in the comments. It'll really help other people who come on this video. Give this video a thumbs up if you liked it or if you can relate in any way. And I'll see you guys very soon on my next video. Bye.